Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a responsive footer for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And this is how it's gonna look. We can see that we have this logo over here at the top. And then we have these sections where we have a list of some links over here. And then we have the contact information over here. And then lastly, we have the copyright information and also the social media icons. Now let me show you how it looks on a smaller device. So let me just decrease the width of this browser window. First of all, we can see that the content has a maximum width, so it won't extend this width right here, even if the screen is wider. And now if we decrease the width of the browser, we can see that it's adjusting according to the screen width. And if we keep decreasing the screen width, we can see that at this point, we have two sections in one row. And then we have the next section over here. So this is mostly for devices like tablets. And uh, let's decrease the screen width even more. And, uh, and now we can see that there's only one section in a row. So this is for the mobile version. And even the size of these social media icons and this text has changed. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> Right, I have created a folder called footer and I just open it with VS Code. And I also have this folder called images in that we have these images which we're going to use in our design. So let's get started by creating our necessary files. So let's create an index.html file. And let's also create a CSS file. We'll just name it style.css. Alright, let's start with the index.html file. And in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. And here we'll just link our CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. All right, first of all, let's create a dummy section where we will have some dummy text. So I'll just type lorem and press 100 for 100 words and press tab. And here we can see VS Code generates 100 words for us. Right now, let's start with the footer. So let's create a footer tag. And the first thing we have to do is uh, we need to create a container division. So although we have this uh, background color which extends to the edges of this browser, but uh, we have a fixed width for this content. So all the content inside our footer will have this maximum width. So let's create a division for that. I'll just create a division with a class of footer container. And uh, the first thing we need to have is the logo. So let's create a division with a class of logo. And I'll just type lb dot. And let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install this extension, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see our design is being displayed in the browser. Right now, the next thing we need to have is uh, this section right here where we have all these links and even this contact information. And below that we have this section right here where we have these icons and this text. So we're going to create two different divisions for them. So here let's create a division with the class of footer top and in that we will have all these sections and then let's create a division with the class of footer bottom and in that we will have this text and these social media icons first of all let's add this text and these icons because it's easy so here let's create a division with the class of copyright and uh, here we'll just type live blogger and for the copyright symbol you can just press ampersand copy semicolon and i'll just type 2021 and next we need to have the social media icons. So I'll just create a division with the class of social. And in that we'll create anchor tags. And for the href, I'll just type hash for now. You can add the link of your social media profiles over here. All right now here we will add the images. So I'll just type IMG. And in the SRC, I'll just type images slash. And the first image we want to have is Facebook icon. And let's just copy this anchor tag from here. And I'll just paste it two more times. And the next image we need to have is Twitter. And the last image we need to have is dribble. Right here we can see we have these three images. Now let's start working with the footer top. So here we can see we have created a division with the class of footer top. And in this we need to have all these sections over here. Now for each of the sections, I'll just create a division with the class of links. And in that we need to have an S3. And in the first heading we will have quick links. So I'll just type quick links over here. And for all these links over here, we'll create unordered lists. So let's create a URL over here. And let's create list items. And in that, we'll create anchor tags. And for the first link, we have the text of home. And then we have about services and contact. 
So let's add all of that home and I'll just copy this list item and paste it down three more times. And the next thing we need to have is about and then we have services and then we have contact. Or that's it with the first set of links. And next we have services. I'll just copy this uh, links division from here and paste it down here. And uh, I'll just paste it down two more times for both these sections. All right now let's go to the second section and uh, here for the heading we have services. And in the services we have web design, app design and SEO optimization. So I'll just type web design, app design and SEO optimization. And we don't need to have this last list item over here. And the next one is categories and in that we have WordPress, Blogger and Android. So I'll just replace this text with categories. And let's type WordPress, Blogger and Android. And let's just remove this uh, list item. And lastly we have get in touch. Now here we don't need to have these anchor tags because these are not links. So I'll just copy this and I'll just delete this from here and paste it right here. And I'll just copy the next line and just paste it over here. And I'll just delete these two list items. Right, I think that's it with the HTML of our footer. So let's go back to our design and we can see that all the elements are displayed over here. Now let's start styling this. So let's go over here to style.css. And the first thing we will do is we will remove all the default margins. So I'll just type body and I'll just type margin zero. And uh, now let's target this section over here and I'll just add some basic styles for that. So let's type section. I'll just set the font family to Roboto. And set the line height to two. And we'll set a max width of 700 pixels. And we'll bring it to the center by typing margin zero auto. And I'll also add a padding of 32 pixels. Alright, now let's start with the footer. So let's target the footer tag. And first of all, let's give a background color of 001219. And now let's set the font family. So I'll just have font family to Roboto. And we'll also set the color of the text to F1FAEE. -E. Let's also add some padding. So I'll just have padding of 32 pixels. We also need to have rounded corners over here. So let's type border radius and we'll set it to 32 pixels, 32 pixels, 0 and 0. So this will have rounded corners for top left and top right. Now let's style the footer container inside the footer. So here we can see we have this division with the class of footer container and uh, let's target that over here. So let's type footer, footer container and we'll set a max width of 1100 pixels. And let me just add a background color to see whether it works. So here we can see the width of the footer container. Let's bring it to the center. So I'll just type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. Right now let's remove the background color. Right now let's bring all of these links one next to the other. So all the links are inside the footer top division. So let's target that. So I'll just type footer, footer container, footer top and we'll set the display to grid. And let's specify the number of columns. So let's type grid template columns. And we'll set it to four columns. So I'll just type one FR, one FR, one FR and one FR. So this will have four columns with the same width. So let's go back. And now we can see all the elements are one next to the other. Right now let's style this logo. So here I'll just type footer logo. And let's set the font size to 36 pixels. And we'll set the font weight to 800. All right, that's it with the logo. Now let's change the color of these links and we'll also remove the underlines and we'll just add the underline when we hover over these links. So here we can see when we hover over these links, we have these underlines. So let's go back to the CSS and uh, let's target all the anchor tags. So let's type footer, footer container A and we'll set the color of the text to the light color and we'll remove the underline. So I'll just type text decoration to none. And let's add the underline when we hover over it. So let's type footer, footer container, a colon hover. 
and let's type text decoration to underline and now when we hover over these links we have the underlines right now let's target the unordered list so let's type footer footer container ul and we'll just remove these uh, bullets from here so for that we'll just type list style and we'll just set it to none and we'll also remove the padding that we have over here on the left so let's type padding 0 we'll also set the font size to 16 pixels and we'll also add a margin bottom of 24 pixels now let's add some margin between these list items so let's type footer footer container ULLI and let's type margin 10 pixels for top and bottom and 0 for left and right now let's style the footer bottom so here we can see we have this division with the class of footer bottom and in that we have the copyright info and the social media icons so let's target that I'll just type footer footer bottom and first of all let's add a border top so here we can see we have this uh, line over here we'll be adding that using a border so let's type border top and we'll set it to one pixel solid and we will have an RGBA value so I'll just type 255, 255, 255 and 0 0.2 so this is how it looks now we also want these to be one next to the other so let's set the display to flex and we'll set the justify content to space between and now we can see both these elements are to the left and to the right let's also add some padding to the top so let's type padding top of 32 pixels and we'll also bring this to the center vertically so for that we'll just type align items to the center right now let's style this copyright info so I'll just type footer footer bottom copyright and let's set the color of the text to E63946 and let's set the font size to 20 pixels and the font weight to 800 right now let's style these social media icons now here you can see when we hover over these we have the underlines displayed so we don't want the underlines to be displayed in these icons so let's target the icons so I'll just have footer social a colon hover and I'll just type text decoration to none and now when we hover over this we don't have the underlines right now let's add some margin between these icons so let's type footer social a and let's set a margin of 0 for top and bottom and 16 pixels for left and right and when we hover over this we will scale it up a little bit so here in the hover I'll just type transform and we'll just type scale 1.1 and the scale is not working because uh, the anchor tags are inline elements by default so we have to change it to inline block so I'll just type display of inline block and we'll also add a transition for smooth animation so I'll just type all to 500 milliseconds and now let's hover over this and we can see that the animation is working all right now the next thing we need to do is add the icons for all of these headings so here in the original design we can see we have these icons for different headings so let's add these icons to our headings now we'll be adding these icons using the before selector so I'll just add the CSS over here I'll just type footer footer container s3 colon colon before now for each of the headings we need to have different icons so let's add different classes to different headings so let's go back to our HTML and uh, let's go over here to the first heading and for the first heading we will add a class called quick links s3 and in the same way I'll just add different classes for different headings so for this one I'll just type class equals services s3 and for the next one we will add a class of categories s3 and for the last one we will have class of contact s3 right now let's target these classes over here so here I'll just type s3 dot quick links s3 and let's set the content to URL and I'll just type images slash and uh, let's select 
the quick links image and I'll just copy this and paste it three more times and the next one is services s3 and here in the images I'll just type services icon.png and the next s3 is for the categories so I'll just change this to categories and even the image to categories icon and the last one is contact s3 and I'll just change this to contact icon and let's go back to our design and here you can see all these icons are displayed over here but the icons have moved our s3 to the right so we'll see the position of these icons relative to this s3 so let's type footer footer container s3 and I'll just type position relative and then I'll type footer footer container s3 colon colon before and for this we will set a position of absolute and now let's move it to the left and to the top so for that we'll just type transform and translate and we'll translate it to negative 24 pixels to the x-axis and negative 5 pixels for the y-axis and now it looks all right so our design looks exactly as we wanted now the last thing to do is make it responsive so for that let's add some media queries so I'll just type at media max width of 850 pixels now all the CSS that is inside this block will work if the page width is less than 850 pixels so when the width is less than 850 pixels we will set two columns so I'll just have footer footer container footer top and if we scroll up we can see that we have set four columns over here so I'll just copy this and uh, I'll just paste it over here and I'll just remove two columns from here right now let's test whether it works and we'll also add some margin to this footer container so let's scroll up and uh, here for the footer container I'll just type padding and for top and bottom we'll just type 0 and for left and right we'll just type 32 pixels right now let's decrease the width and now we can see we have two columns now when we are on this width we will also decrease the size of these icons so let's type footer social img and we'll set the height to 30 pixels but that looks all right now let's add one more media query for the mobile version so I'll just type at media max width of 600 pixels and uh, let's type footer footer container footer top and uh, we will type grid template columns and we'll set the columns to 1fr which is only one column and we'll also text align everything to the center and we'll also decrease the size of uh, this copyright info over here so let's type footer footer bottom copyright and we'll just set the font size to 16 pixels right now let's decrease the width of our window and now we can see we have only one column and everything looks all right we don't have any problems so that's basically it with the design of our footer so this is completely responsive you can use it in your websites and I will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and uh, that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day